Now that you've decided to establish a center, um, it's important to think about how you would set these up both legally and in terms of the governance. I'd like to explain to you what we have accomplished in Philadelphia as one model. In Philadelphia, we decided to proceed with the center as a separate corporation organized as a charitable entity in IRS terms, that's a 501c3. And in our case, we made it possible for the center corporation to actually own the facility that became the Philadelphia Center for Architecture. AIA Philadelphia remains a parallel organization um, focused on its members. And that, in fact, encapsulates the difference in how these two organizations will work together. One is a legal entity that focuses on engaging the public, the center, and the Philadelphia organization um, is a legal entity that focuses on members, and the idea is for them to work together.